Hey, how doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Rise of the Ronin boss guide. Today we are going to be taking on Genzui, the beefed up version of Genzui. So, yeah. Um, let's go over his attacks as as he does them, I guess. All right, so there we go. Uh, he starts off the fight with this combo most of the time. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth hit has two hits. Okay, so make sure you parry twice. And then he always follows it up with a red attack. Sometimes he'll do it once, sometimes he'll do it twice, as just now. And you can tell if he's gonna follow it up with another red attack, like one. And then you can see that stance right there, that means he's gonna do it again. If he tumbles over like that, that means he is stunned. And you can go in for a few hits, or if you're using the higher boost or reuse style, you can go in for a Izuna drop. Or the slam. Wait, suplex, my bad. And now he has his weapon buff, which is the flaming swords. So this happens around at 80% health. Sometimes it might happen later, but most of the time it happens at the 80% mark. So when this happens, we can no longer tank his uh, combo attack, his fiber combo attack, because that's going to set us ablaze. So we can at least take three hits. So he's doing his red attack right now, so we're countering them. The, the dash attack is easier to counter, in my opinion, if you're right up close. And I ate it there, <laughs> just as I said that. And in this version, it's more annoying because when he does that move, it leaves a trail of fire and it lingers for a bit. It's not forever, but it will linger for a little bit. And he ended up catching me there because I ran out of stamina and I was badly hurt. So we're baiting him to one of the NPCs and then we're switching over to the other one so I can pick myself up. And... He doesn't really have much new attack. He has like one new red attack, which I've never seen before. Maybe he already had it. He always had it, but I just never got him to use it. But he does do it in this fight, and it's really easy to avoid because you can just simply dodge back. And if you're close enough, you can parry it. But I think dodging back is probably the easiest. Alright, so here's his combo attack. I'm baiting the first two hits, and then I can tank the, the last three hits. And then parry the you know the double hit so we can go in for an Izuna drop as we OG Ninja Gaiden player as to call it. Well I'm not that OG but <laughs> anyways, yeah so when he changes his red attack it can either be a dash dash or a dash spin or a spin spin or a spin dash, whatever. But the jump attack is never like part of it though. So yeah. But he can do like jump attack and then dash or whatever. He just can't like do jump attack in the middle. Or as a second red attack. At least I've never seen it happen. So I'm just playing it safe here. And there's his like quick like quick side step attack again. Jump attack, parry that. Yeah, second one. Um the spin attack. There we go. Or oh, a tackle attack, I guess. There's a tackle, there's a spin, and then jump, and then a dash, and there's like a weird spin later. Uh I think he does it right here. No, that's not it. It's this one. You can dodge it by simply dodging back. Okay. And then there's the dash attack again. See, double dash. Mario Kart double dash. And he's gonna drop. There you go, Genzui. But yeah. Uh, fight pattern's more or less the same as the first time you fought him. Except he has fire now. And Sometimes, I, I think he can chain his red attack up to three times. It might be a glitch, but I've seen it happen once. Yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this boss, guys. So yes. I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this guy has been helpful if you are struggling against the boss. Uh, here are my equips going into the fight. I have the single katana, got the rifle just in case, the ninja set which you can get from maxing out Sawamura's bond level. Uh, here are my stats if you're curious on what I have put. Uh, here's the style, uh, Hayabusa Ryu style, and here's the difficulty I was playing on. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time. Ohms, out.